Now, how she found success at size 16 in an industry rocked by eating disorders. It's our Entertainment Tonight cover story. You truly feel that you're fat and you're this big. You're 85 pounds, you're 90 pounds, and you're 5'5", five, 5'8". Five, five, Though Emmy says she's never had an eating disorder, the 5'11 model admits she did have disordered eating habits. It was not good. I used to try and diet and think that I could lose five pounds for a date on Saturday, and, and it's a horrible cycle that you get yourself into. Emmy met rejection when she first tried to enter the world of high fashion. I walked into the modeling industry as a size 12, and I was told to lose 45 to 50 pounds. And I just was like, there's something really wrong about this. There's no way I'm going to lose that weight. It's like taking off a leg or something. Forget about that. So I had the sense to say no. But with the explosion of full-figure fashion, Emmy's career took off, ironically, after she put on a few pounds. You know, if you could be a 14, that would be great. I'm saying, you're asking me to gain weight? <laughs> How weird is that? Emmy has now been a successful plus-size model for nearly 15 years. She's the host of Style's Fashion Emergency, has her own line of clothing, and is the author of her second book entitled Life's Little Emergencies, Everyday Rescue for Beauty, Fashion, Relationships, and Life. She's also a mother to a one-year-old daughter. I'm really good. 200, 190, 200 is around for me. Really, really good. I swim. I spin. As long as I can do that on a regular basis and I eat really, really well, I am pretty much a, a, a maintained woman. Her new book, which is in stores now, includes tips from stars like Kim Cattrall and Cheryl Teague.